Today we have traveled to San Pedro de Rivas to visit a uh, Joseph Manuel Berenguer artist mm -hmm. uh, and technologist in a way. The, the most part of the time what I am doing is to, uh, to design experiences. This is, this is the thing what I think I do. But of course, I, I can say or I could say that I, that I am an artist. Can you tell us about uh, your creative process? How do you work? The, the most part of my technological works are scientific works, well, scientific, based on science. You know, uh, um, one of scientists that, that have uh, influenced me uh, very much, in fact, is uh, Francisco Varela. In, in one of, of, uh, of his books, uh, I think that in English uh, is, mm, it has, hasn't exactly the same title than in Spanish, but in English is uh, an embodied mind. Uh, so the, the mind in, in the in, in the, inside embedded in the in the body. in the body, no? Uh, uh, he described a, a, an experience. He described an, a, an example of a thing that that hadn't uh, uh, cognitive abilities, but that had a behavior, a, an interesting behavior, a, a, a deterministic behavior. This uh, deterministic behavior was. Uh, shown uh, with in a in, in a device in a, in a that 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 he uh, called Gitorio, Gitorio, that uh, comes from bit and not uh, is not the the, the in Italian the Vittorio is not that it's Vittorio with B B. <laughs> uh, Vittorio is a, it's an automaton is a cellular automaton. That uh, is absolutely deterministic. If you have uh, two cells uh, in a determinate state, the cell which is inside becomes in another state. That depends on um, a rule that you give to, to your system. And well, the fact is, is, is that uh, this constructs a, a very interesting uh, images. images. Uh, and not only images, uh, sequences of, of, of ones uh, and zeros. This is the, the, the interesting thing in the, in the beginning. That, well, uh, we have uh, the possibility to, 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 to see that in images. So here you, you, you have what Vittorio is. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a... Yes. Well, this is, this is the representation of, of Vittorio. Mm -hmm. So this is a, each line. Is, is a state of Vittorio. And you see that uh, these lines are uh, becoming different in the, in the future of, of, each, of each line, in fact. Huh? Yes. So uh, time is going in this, uh, in this sense. So there's, now we are here, you see. This mm -hmm. is, the thing is changing here. And, well, mm, you see that perhaps there is a a tendency to, to, to make this line bigger, but in a, in a moment this can change. This is only a representation of, of data, if mm -hmm. you want. But, uh, well, someone in Luxembourg uh, asked me to, um, uh, well, to, 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 to make a piece. I can put this in a screen to see the forms that are generated automatically. We have uh, arrived at a, at a point that we have uh, having some, uh, well, some behaviors, some different behaviors, huh? different behaviors from the from the past because you see that the past is uh, erased uh, by the by the by the present, in fact. Well, uh, this also can uh, sound. So this has become a, a, a kind of score. Yes. Uh, uh, what is happening here? Well, here it's happening that, that I am using this uh, this this uh, process, this, this this behavior, in fact, to filter to filter a noise, a, a white noise. 
what role play technology, science, and art in your work? For me, the technology is it's a way to do things. I use technology to, for instance, and it's very important for me, uh, to explicitly tell the computer or tell the reality to, to have a, a behavior. I am in, the, in, the, in, in, in my past, I, I was a composer. Well, I, I can't say that I am a composer. Technology is that, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a tool. For me, science is a way to try to, 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 to give uh, poetry to my mind. It's, it's, it's a way to, 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 to go beyond the art. But I think you, you must, in the life, you might, in life, you must uh, go beyond the art. And, uh, and well, this is the, the, the reason, and this is the, re the relations between science, art, and technology for me. And uh, two last things uh, for this Ars Electronica Barcelona Garden. Uh, the two themes are ecology and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's pick the topic of uncertainty. The thing that we must accept is that the uncertainty is with us. It has been always with us. Uncertainty is in 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 any sound you 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 listen. Uh, there is not true that sounds of music are 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 um, are, pre uh, are predictable. Mm -hmm. There is not true at all. Sounds in music are unpredictable. In, 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 a, in a big part. Noise is everywhere. Noise, noise is, is, is in every instrument, in a musical instrument of the past you, you, you can abort. The point is to understand that the unpredictability, uh, uncertainty, is a thing that is with us. And, and we must accept that. Ecology is a... Is a well, a way to try to understand the relations between the species, uh, between things that happen at the same time in the world. It's, it's, a, it's a discipline of, of complexity, in fact. One of the disciplines of complexity. Thank you very much. Thank you to you too. You're welcome.